Yes. Thank you very much, Necropolis. So this is a new song that Necropolis made for the game. It's supposed to be a rest brave little tangerine. Uh, yeah, let's see. When will you use the new shiny features of C++? I don't think I will ever use them. Paradox. Do you know how... Do you know you can force a lot of stuff to run in compile time so you gain runtime performance? Um, no, I don't actually. No. All right, guys, let's see. knows what he's doing, yeah. Damn. Guys, wait, can I loop this? This is for this screen right here. Lock this guy up next to Abeth and put him to work, Cakes, yeah. <laughs> this is for this screen right here. Yeah. Uh, obviously, this is going to be a village like that. Think about this. This one's good, bro. Really good stuff. Free labor? No, no, no. G guys, I will pay him in the future. If we manage to get like a business relationship going, I will, I will pay him in the future, of course. Yes. Now, he can't make too many songs. Uh, f f he can't make too many songs in a row really fast because then I'm out of money but yeah yeah sure of course you man necropolis that is really good man can I use it right now can I actually use it right now in the game to see how it is uh, you sent me a wave file right no an mp3 file so I could tell you what type of format I need uh, I'll show you right here with audacity so essentially let's open this with audacity um, what I need, uh, and I don't know if you can specifically do that. Essentially, I need to have a project rate hertz. You already have this correct. 44,100. It's very specific. I need a, I think 32-bit float is too much. I think I need 16-bit float. So, how do I, ch oops, how do I change that? 16 bit is I think what I need but I'll, tr but I'll try 32 bit float first and then what I want let's just test if I can export this as a WAV file let's see here and I think I need yeah uh, is this in sounds cakes framework it is let's call this uh, changi home dot WAV file it exports it at 16 bits. Okay. So then let's go into the code. Let's add that to the code. Transition to town should play the sound. And I want it to do I have sound options. Yes. Loop. I want it to loop. I want it to loop and I also want it to fade in. And then I want to call this... What did I call it again, guys? I forgot the name. Shit. What was it again? Let me see here. Cakes Framework. Assets. Sounds. It is called Tangy Home. There you go. Let's test all right it should already work if the wave file hello brothers and sisters hello takam jakam and cakes fart long time no see bro how are you doing, my man? 
It's been a while. Just converted yourself to wave. No one can hear the difference anyways. Just converted with VLC player. I can convert them myself. Yeah, it's fine. Damn. I think we have our first song in the game. Final song for now. Let's see how it loops. 5% programming. 95% TTS aware. Good old days. Oh yeah, that was crazy. You're late, buddy. I know. Good old days. I love math. <laughs> How's your game doing? My game is doing good, brother. Thanks for asking. Wait, did it just loop? I didn't notice. It's a W, yeah. Hi, so the definitions of tangy, adjective, lasting so like a lemon, tasting sour like a lemon, synonyms, lemon-like, lemony, scourish, char, sour, having a sharp, biting taste. Thank you, my man. Brad Carpenter Audio. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate it, bro. Did you try out my sound? It's 100% free. You could do, use it lower pitched for swords and I. Guys, guys, we're gonna do a sound now. Um, I need to somehow record audio without stopping my recording on stream. How do I do this? I need to use this microphone in a different program. Maybe I can use that somewhere else. Guys, I'm recording everything I do. And so I need the sounds right now. Maybe I can use Audacity, actually. Can I set playback device, recording device? Can I use, oh, I can. I can use cable, wait, which one is my? Test, 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 test. So I have cable B here. That is my microphone and I can listen to it if I want to. Um, but I'm a bit confused by that because it has latency. That's why I can't use it. Like, but this audio program introduces latency because it's software, not hardware. And so I can't use it. But anyways, um, I can actually record audio, which is nice. What I want to do is record something really interesting. Um, recording device. That was cable B, I think. Let's record. Test, 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 test. It works. Okay, so what I want to record is this. No, no not, not this. Mm. All right, that's it. Esport, Twitch, online casino. Let's keep this. Now, I want to listen. That's it. So what do, why do I do this, right? Why do I do, do this? I want to. Board ten, board ten. Let's move this thing. How do I move this again? Control? No. Control shift? No. Uh, control alt? Alt? Guys, how do I move this? Oh, like that. Yes. So I wanna, I want to export this part right here only um, how do I export just the selected audio ah there we go export selected audio ah wave file cool so that is a guys this is a, a unit select hero list save It's not a licking stream. Guys, just wait. Just wait. Now we have Reaper here. Okay. We tried to do this last time. This is what it sounded like. Terrible. Get rid of this. We're gonna make it better this time. Alright. We'll put this here. Now we need to make this shut up here. Uh... Uh, it doesn't seem like it has an effect on the loudness of this. Nice slider. <laughs> 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 
guys, it's been a while, okay? Shit. It sounds good though, okay? So it's fine. Oh, yeah, wait. We need to get rid of... I think this is already perfect. Let's see. Right? What do you guys think? Maybe a little bit more bass, but that's it. No, 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 no. bro. I want to move this. I hate the, like, a Reaper is so terrible because, like, I, I need to, like, uh, fuck. No, no, no. I just want to move that. No, no. I want to move this thing here. This thing. How do I do this again? Oh, my God. It's like Alt and then the middle mouse button or something. Oh, wait. Shift. No, wait. Control. Shift. Control. <laughs> How? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see EQ. Flatten. Gotcha, bitch. Let's listen to this. It's a bit fast. Pretty nice. What is this here? What do you think? Okay. Uh, pitch or not pitch, guys? What do you think? Pitch or no pitch? Pitch or no pitch? What do you think? No pitch? I think no pitch is better, actually. All right. Now, we have... I'll show you. Maybe there's too much bass in it, though. <laughs> Random head, it's the audio idea last time you're doing... Wait, what was this? Uh... And you're doing audio, yeah? Have you considered shifting the pitch, the shifting the hit sounds by some small random amount? For example, uh, if one is the bass, 0.8, something similar, so each hit is, uh, is distinct. Breaks them, breaks them monotony. Actually, I do that, bro. Yes. In the Win32 layer, uh, we have this frequency range of 0.1. Yes, we do. I do a random range between minus one to one. Yes, I shift the pitch. Uh, I think 0.1 is a bit much. Uh, but yes, currently it's, I think, 10%, which is a bit much. I could do, I don't know, 0 0.8, maybe. But yeah, we have that. All right, I think this is good enough, guys. Uh, export. Um, this is muted, hopefully. Export. How do I do this again? File. Export. 
Render? Is it Render? And then uh, I want to call that... Um, I want to call that... Uh, what was it called again, guys? Gotcha, bitch! Didn't I call this something? Unit selecting hero list. And then I call that um, number one. Save. Unit select hero list, number one. I want it to be stereo channels, 16 bit. Wave file. Uh, render one file. Now I have a question for you guys. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. Now we have this one right here. And what I want to do is go into the hero list of the game. I'll show you what it is right now. And then you guys can tell me if you like it. This is nothing. You see that? Nothing happens. Let me turn this off. I click this, nothing happens. Okay? Now. Let's go to hero list. What's on the menu today? Music gameplay profiling? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're going to work on gameplay to do today, for sure. And Tanka, Tank, uh, Tankan, thank you very much for following. Guys, we have hit 7,000 followers right now. We have breached, broken the 7,000 mark. Damn, bro. Isn't that nice? Um, let me see. When I click on a unit... How do I select the unit? Let's see. It is here somewhere at the top. It's actually very simple once I programmed this in. Um, we are selecting it right here. There you go. And we can play. Shit. Shit. Play sound. What was the sound again? Let's copy this over. Paste. Whoops. There you go, guys. Now, this is what we have. Listen to this. What do you think? Shit. So, okay, I have an issue with my wave files, and I don't know whether Reaper can do this or not. So the wave file, uh, I need to find chunks. Okay? And what I did was I created a wave file header, which is bad. If you can, because you can have different wave file formats. So, for example, I'll explain to you what that means. You can find a. So, essentially, how wave files are structured is the following. You always, I think, you always have a riff chunk, and that is built like this. You have four bytes for the riff chunk ID which is a character array of different uh, uh, letters. Then you have a size of int. <laughs> Sorry. And that size right here uh, basically is the size in bytes. And then you have a format, which is a number, as far as I know. It's just a number. And then you have a format chunk, which again, the ID is a character array. Then the size of the format chunk, how much it is, and then some other data like audio format, how many channels, the sample rate, all of this is in memory. So these two are always the first two. And then after that, you can have a different type of, uh, you can have a different type of chunk that is not the data chunk. And in this case, the chunk that I find is a, junk chunk and you can probably guess what that means it is not a data chunk but a j or j u n k chunk a junk chunk junk in the trunk and so this can happen and reaper seems to write this junk chunk chunk and i don't know if I can disable this here, because it always writes this, which is really annoying. I don't know what it's what is in the junk chunk. 
Um, I don't really want to know because it's not needed. So what I need to do, essentially, long story short, I need to right click this file, the WAV file. I need to open this with Audacity. Chungus Chunkus. <laughs> and wait for it to load, of course. Wait for it to load. Is it loaded yet? Didn't I just open that, bro? Like yesterday? Are you opening it? Or is do I still have the file handle open here? And therefore I can't open Yeah, okay, so I couldn't open it because the file handle was there. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No. Let's listen to this part here. Okay, it's not it's inaudible. Kinda wanna get rid of this part here. There you go. What is this? Also inaudible, so we don't need that either. And then export the wave file. And if I export the wave files here, save, export, then the junk chunk is gone. <laughs> Drunk chunk. And now we can start. Play. And you hear this? What do you think? I think it's, it's delayed from the mouse click though. No. The knowledge it's your ton making the noises. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, right? <laughs> I had that idea yesterday. If you like the place a few milliseconds after you click, it doesn't. It doesn't. If it does, then that might be my uh, not actually capture card. No, actually, no, it doesn't. It is instant. Trust me. It might be stream or some other stuff, some delay. There's no way to evaluate that on stream. Yes, uh, it is not though. It's not. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, Tech Priest, thank you very much for following, brother. All right, so now we have a new sound effect. Oh, shit. We need to somehow... Wait a minute, there's some issues. It clicks twice, that's bad. We need to disable that. Um... Play sound, yeah. If we click the left mouse, select units with a left click. Input time since last click. Yeah, I don't want a double click to happen. So I just want to play the sound when I don't do a double click. Otherwise it sounds really weird. Then also I want to only play this sound if the uh, if the uh, let's call it it's stuck to mouse if it's stuck to the mouse if it's not stuck to the mouse it's a bit crazy but that's how it would, it will function let's see yeah Also, you don't know if you're hearing the down click or the up click. Is some mice click on release? Some mice click on release? These mice should be like... Ugh. They actually do? Ah, 
How can you deal with that, Ramos? How do you deal with this? What if you need to hold the mouse down for something? It doesn't click for you. Never really bothered me, really? Wait, so if I play Path of Exile... Wait a minute. If I play PoE... It clicks on release as well. Oh, I see. So it clicks on button down and on release. Wait, that's cheating. I actually watched... No, that's cheating. Your mouse is actually cheating, bro. So here's, here's why it's cheating. Do you guys know the game called Oz or Ozu? Many people call it Ozu because, you know, it's easier to pronounce that. Ozu? It is a game about mouse accuracy and precision. Have you guys ever heard about that game? Yeah, someone of you, pr probably someone of you has played it already. You have to click on these rings and then drag, like this one would be a drag, and you click here, you, you basically drag, click, click, drag. Now, in the game, you have to oftentimes click a lot of times. And it is cheating if your mouse clicks on button down and on up, button up. So, sir, I have to inform you that you're actually cheating. I don't know what I should say about this. Okay, every single mouse click should on, uh, should click on release, otherwise you wouldn't know if it's click or hold. It's a great game. Yeah, I love that game too. It's free as well. Mm -hmm. It's a very... Yeah, <laughs> this guy, no, the Griffin Rider doesn't know. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah, game, yep. We were purely discussing sound on actual mouse input. Just click with keyboard. Yeah, some people click with keyboard in that, yeah. Why do you sometimes bounce up and down in your chair? Your mouse cheated on your chain. Why would you sometimes bounce? Uh, yeah, Toonie on YouTube. Um, that's because I'm sitting on one of those balls. Gymnastic balls. These ones. One of these bad boys right here. Yep. That's why that is, brother. Mm. I always wondered why you do that. Haha. -ha. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's be, it's for my, my back. It's so that I train my muscles in this particular region of my back a little bit. It's not perfect. And I should... Yeah! Okay. The real answer is that he has ADHD and can't just sit still. I think that's a good thing if you can't just sit still. I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, human beings are not supposed to sit without any movement for long periods of time. I don't know what happens with the blood in your body, but it's, it's certainly not healthy. So uh, having a little bit of movement um, makes at least me feel better. So yes, I always move in my chair. You guys know, like you guys notice that I always like, I push myself up and then I like sit on my feet and on the other feet. Sleeping? Sleeping is something else. Sleeping is resting. And you're actually moving in your sleep, whether you know that or not. Okay. Guys, when I select units, should I play the same sound effect or a different one? Should we make a select unit sound effect right now? We still have this open. Let's see. Wait a minute. Can I not? Like, how do I? Ah. What do we have here? What about this? How about that? That, uh, that one is bad. Let's get rid of this. What about this? I actually like this one. This could be a button. Huh? What do you think?
Yeah, sounds good as a button. Yeah, I think so too. Let's uh, export. Select it. Audio. Um, button. Button click. There you go. That was easy. Moist button sounds. And then we keep put that in Reaper. Uh, we'll keep this here for later. We'll put the button sound in there. Let's change the button sound to what we need. Oh, wait a minute. I just... Wait, I turned off FX here. Wait. Eh? Wait, this one right here. I should name this. Can I name this? Uh, that is the um, hero list select. And... Oof. Um... I don't know what is this again here. Oh. oh, that is the oh shit. That's the skeleton impact. Yeah. Let's get rid of these. Actually, don't use any of these anymore. So this let let's clean this up a little bit. So what we have here is skeleton impact. Skeleton impact. Um, this right here is hero list select and then we can use this to be a button click right or was it called button yeah button click we'll put button click here and then we just mute we solo this button click Um, then we delete or we reset and we reset all there you go and now we can add a pitch it's over on its own you guys didn't like the previous song guys you did not like which one was it you didn't like this song here should I get rid of this from the playlist, is it too long? It's eight minutes. Guys, type one in chat if you don't like this song. Type one in chat if you want this song to be removed. Type two in chat if you want to keep this song that we just had. Okay, so I'm curious. What do you hate the most? Uh, what do you hate the most? The coding problem you can't solve or the one you can, but it's just a lot of fitty head maths. A coding problem I can't solve. A coding problem that, that just doesn't work out. Three. How long have you been developing this game? Almost three years. In a couple of days, it's, it will be three years. One, one, one. Okay, there's a couple of ones in chat. Fine. Remove. There you go. I think it's too long either. Like eight minutes is too much. Yeah. Why do you choose C++ for game development? Do you hate yourself? Well, I have a very valid reason for that, my brother. I choose C++ for game development so I can learn how to make a game in C++ and I'm more valuable to a company if I ever fail on my journey to make a game myself. If I fail to be a streamer, a game developer, uh, or a YouTuber, or whatever Hello, happens in the future, if I fail that, I have knowledge to be very valuable to a company in the future. Because I have invested a lot of time to learn like the nerd stuff that no one learns. And that makes me more Messed secure them. in the future. That makes me feel the more secure about the future. It is basically like a game plan the powers of your brain for the far, far future. You know, 
That's why, because C++ is the most predominant language in game development. And if I know how to make a game in C++, I know how to make a game in an engine too. Because I know the backgrounds. You learn very, you learn a lot about how the engines like Unity, Unreal Engine, how they work under the hood. And you can make more assumptions on how certain things work in these engines because you have seen this somewhere else before broken down into pieces. That's why, EQ. Ria EQ. Okay, guys, let's see. I love Reaper. I might actually spend the money on Reaper, guys. Um, P Peter gave me $100 to spend on a door. I might actually spend it on Reaper. I, I am, I'm using this more and more. And yeah, Peter, I really appreciate it, man. You're incredibly, like, way too generous. It's, it's insane. I don't know what to say. But yeah, I will probably use it on this. I think I'm gonna stick with Reaper. Took a while to, you know, warm up to it. I hated it in the beginning. The controls are still atrociously bad, but it's good. It's a good program. Plus one, a friend of mine never tried to make an engine himself and he has no clue what stuff like input reading is. He struggles a lot to understand it, whereas I feel I'm able to understand it way better because I had to, had to do it myself in C++. So here's the funny thing. I wanted to do input mapping, and you're, you're right. I wanted to do keybinds oh, in so Unity. So Relax. I wanted to do keybinds in Unity. I never figured out how to do it. Um, there's probably an option how to do that in Unity uh, that I didn't find. However, I am, I, I'm able to do it in C++ very easily. And that's crazy. I figured it out how to do it in C++ before I could do it in Unity. Scammed? No, I paused it because I wanted to finish my point, bitch. Keybinds in Unity is fairly straightforward. Well, yes. But back then I wanted to do keybinds in Unity using ECS. And the dots component system or the uh, unity dots system there was around 2021 2020 around 2020 uh, december uh, you know christmas time no actually that's not true i started on january 2021 i think or was it 2021 i think i started on no wait actually when did i start wait a minute I need to double check here. So, uh, Spielentwickler, C++ tutorials. When did I start? I think I was. I started 2020. Where is this? Wait, is it not here? C++ implementations. Where's C++ tutorials? Vulcan old 2022, 2021. Is it on D's nuts? Hey, where's my C++ tutorials? Guys, am I blind? I find this, but I don't find the tutorials. Am I blind? Cakes, Mr. Cakes, I like you, but it's really copium. You're literally using C with classes. Why mod when modern C++? There's no need to use modern C++. Because I have very specific problems that are not solved by modern C++, in my opinion. I have not encountered a single problem where I was like, okay, I need a string view here. I need a string right now. An STD string. Or I need a vector right now. I have not encountered that issue. And therefore, I don't need to use it. I don't need to use a shared pointer because my own pointer makes more sense. I don't need a unique pointer because again my own pointers make more sense because you made your own scuffed vector i do not have a vector i have a fixed sized array i waste a bunch of memory with stuff that is empty i have fixed sized allocations i don't grow vectors i never did that i don't need to how many years would it take would it have to be before you considered it a fail I'm 1.5 years in mine. I'd make a game in C++ just to learn C++ as well, but I don't know if I would regret it. Uh, Rust doesn't have a good game engine though. Bevy is promising though. I'm just got, it just got iOS support. Um, make a game in C++ and use Raylib or SFML for the cross-platform 
support. Use Raylip. I think Raylip is one of the best things to use. If you don't want to do everything yourself. And you won't regret learning C or C++. Because what you will ultimately learn is how to handle memory. Which is really important to understand. If you're making a game. Because 90% of the time you're going to work with memory. And accessing memory. Even in memory managed languages. You can run the risk of having memory leaks. These leaks can lead to crashes. Because uh, at some point, you know, the memory is like, it's used up, right? There's no more memory to allocate from. And uh, just getting to know these concepts will be detriment, will be no, detrimental in learning how to use an engine. So it's never wasted time. Because it will ultimately give you more knowledge. However, if your goal is to make a game right now, then make a game and don't learn C++. Whatever you're using, 1.5 years, I don't know what you're using, whether that's Unity or... You never told me what you're using. Maybe Game Maker, maybe Godot, maybe Unreal Engine. Keep using that if you feel like you're making progress in it. If you're able to stick with an engine for 1.5 years, I think you've got a shot at making a game in that engine. I used Unity for three months every day. And at the end of, of those three months, I was frustrated. I was tired. I was burned out. I hated it. I just couldn't work with Unity. I tried everything I could. And my will to make a game was greater than my will to keep on using Unity. Because I stuck with game development. So ultimately for me, not using Unity was the best decision. But that doesn't make it right for you. That doesn't mean that you need to use C++. Because ultimately what is most important is the end result. And that like people don't give a shit whether it's Unity, Unreal Engine, Game Maker... Godot. <coughs> no, Godot is fine, but the UI is just... I HATE THE UI! <sighs> Raise the peace, Unity. We're gonna go back to Unity in the future. Cakes, will you ever use C++ style casts? No, because it's too much typing. And it's fear-mongering. To call it undefined behavior. I hate it. How, why have we been able to write C programs all along? They work perfectly fine. And now all of a sudden we need different casts. Like go fuck off, bitch. Like leave me alone, man. It's not fear mongering. Listen, man. A C, a C style cast will not break your program. Maybe in like the most niches of niche cases. Maybe. I'm not seeing that though. No? It's fear-mongering to call it undefined behavior. Yes, because it is. Any newcomer to C++ will be scared about that. Oh, undefined behavior. That's not good. And if you think that's not the case, then you're wrong. Because everyone that's new uh, will go through the period of, Oh shit, I don't want to do anything that's bad. And you don't know what's good or bad, so you're listening to advice online. That's just how it is. C-style cast would literally try anything and give you what you asked, even if it's incorrect. It is undefined behavior according to standard. That's a fact. Not up to debate. And who cares? I think that's still fear-mongering. You know? Because I've been perfectly fine making a game using C-style casts and... Never had any issues. And I don't see issues approaching in the future. Otherwise, you could never use C to make a game. You're writing software only on your computer. Once you will scale it to many different computers, you will see but an undefined behavior in your reports. Then I just don't support that system. If it's like some crazy niche system. Anyways. I wanna... Uh, I forgot, but yeah, I can't find my... Where's my C++? Huh? Wait, is it actually under D? I 
Ah, it is here. Oh yeah, I started 2020. So it's four years. It's been four years. Getting into game development. Teaching myself, yeah. I started with Unity, three months. In January, I think 17 or 15. One of the one of those something like that that's when i started with unity i want to see you uh plug in some advanced debugging like asan your system is too niche by new computer and someone does a bug report in the game the response will be works on my computer guys guys um you guys are working on hypotheticals. You don't even know whether something like that will happen. And I'm telling you that it's so rare that if it happens, first I need a ginormous audience for it to working. Uh, you need a ginormous audience for it to even happen. And even then, I don't see it being more than one or two cases. Okay. Have it read resetting. All those games that uh, that came before using C style casts are just sure just a time bomb. Uh, for sure just a time bomb. I don't think so, man. Remember how you invalidated our opinion about I speed because we aren't parents? I feel the same about you talking about C when you never shipped a full game. Yeah, that's fine. You can have that argument. I agree with you. You know, I never shipped a full game and therefore I can't tell you whether that will happen or not. Uh, my opinion is that it won't, but you know, obviously I can be wrong here. I agree. Yes, I do agree. There's too much um, echo. Guys, button sound. Button sound right now. God, this is so easy. Holy. Hello there, Ava, Ava, hello there Avatar of Azula. You're right about the hypothetical part, but I don't think the argument it's too long to type is kind of weird. It is too long to type, though. <coughs> it is too long to type. That is an argument. Recommended to remove the sub bus as it's muddy. It'll muddy other sounds, especially music. No, I think a button needs to be uh, based. Basic. I think it needs to have a basic. Uh, we can, we can, we can uh, check that. Let's see. Um, pitch. A bad argument. What is a bad argument? I forgot my argument. Actually, I actually forgot my argument. <laughs> I, no cap. I forgot my argument. What was my argument again? You don't need thirty hertz in that sound, man. I don't need thirty hertz in that sound, man. Use the AQ, remove the less than 60 hertz. It's too long to type. Remove. How do I do that? Like this? Like this? Dude gave his baby three letters for her name because everything else would be too long to tag. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay.
Kuna, hello there. Cakes, pro tip, don't spell it sounds while you have an equalizer enabled. Like I did for about a month. Why? What, what's the reason? Why is that? Is that bad? Just define a short version. You need a high pass HP and pass everything up. Even I think typing in 64T is too long. I just did using I64. Yeah. Just define a short version. Just define. Uh, guys, I think this is good enough, right? Isn't this good enough already? What do you think? Wait, we need to go from here to here. Now we're exporting this part. There you go. Uh, what is it? Control Alt Air. And then we call that button click number one. Render one file. Close. And we have the button click. Open A sprite. No, Audacity. Not A sprite. So the sounds were too weedy on stock Windows sounds. File export as mp3 wave file. Why does your button sound like a sword, in, a sword sound? I don't think it does, to be honest. I have a yes, replace, please. With the bus turned up on my equalizer for the rock music I was listening to. We're too weedy on stock, stock window sounds. Mm hmm. Save project now. All right, let me close some. Actually, we need to keep this, right? Yes, this is some. Oh. Guys. This could be an attack. Or. That's it. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go here. And then go into your Y or H. No, no, stop. Star. No, 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 no. Please, why do you put the J there? Your Y dot H. And then every button. <coughs> button sound. Is button. Click number one. There you go. Let's see. This, by the way, guys, is a sound by a viewer that made the sound for the game by Necro. It's a good sound, right? Really good. Necropolis, yeah. My man. Really good sound, bro. Really, really good sound. Nice, he can sue you when the game is released. <laughs> okay. I'm hesitant about learning C++ game dev versus using an engine. What do you recommend? At the moment, I use Pi Game. I recommend testing out making a game in C++ for, let's say, one to two weeks. And then I recommend testing making a game using an engine for about one to two weeks. And then you stick with the one that you like more, that you find more interesting. I recommend exploring essentially 
Just don't listen to it too much during death or you'll go mad. I like it. What's he bouncing on? A ball. Gymnastics ball. Really good stuff, man. So guys, do you think the button click sound is a bit too... You think it's a little bit too quiet? Might be a bit too quiet. I've made a snippet for you that is less typing than a C-style cast. Can it? Can I share it somewhere? You can share it on the Discord general uh, and then add cakes. So I read it tomorrow or maybe later. Fix the volume sliders, hard to say now. Yeah, I don't do this right now. Uh, we're working on gameplay now. But what I'm gonna do though is change this one thing here. Transition to town, place this game. Transition to level. It has stop sound. I think it's called stop sound, right? Stop sound. Yes, I do. And then uh, we are not playing the sound yet because we don't have that. But let's see. So this should fade out the sound. It got loud. There's still issues. Because this is the loudness here. It's not affected by that. I know. I know what the issue is, guys. I know what the issue is. No, I know what it is. Mm, let's fix that really quickly because that's really bad, okay? I know I should work on gameplay, guys, but... I think Ram is, I think this is good, right? Because this is actually gameplay if the music sucks so bad that it like, yeah, we should fix that, right? Right, Mr. Ramis? Right? I mean, it is a gameplay. A little bit, right? Cakes, is that you? Are you a famous man now? It's not me, bro. What is this? That's edited. What the fuck's this? Developing a game from scratch using a custom engine is no small feat. And for indie game, game developer cakes, it's a particularly long journey. Okay, bro. Like, you guys, this is fabricated. The long road to game development, the story of cakes. It has to be bait. Yeah, it's bait. It's not real. Guys, no one knows me. Yeah, okay, bro. Like, uh, this is gonna be some sort of bait. Read more. Probably AI generated uh, article. Like, what even is this image? This doesn't add up, bro. Something doesn't add, add up. Something doesn't add up, guys. No. That CNN big name can't be fake. Okay, I'm not reading this. Fine, we're reading this. Developing a game from scratch using a custom engine is no small, small feat. And for indie developer cakes, it's been a particularly long journey. Shut up. It's not, man. It's normal. It's type of CNN. CCN <laughs> Cake spent the last three years working on his tower defense game. 
with many predicting it could take another four before it's finished. Even if it is, who cares, okay? It took Animal Well Guy seven years too, okay? So there's nothing wrong with this. The primary cause of this delay, distractions, cakes, has been sidetracked by playing other games like Bloons City 6 for inspiration, often at the expense of actual development time. Instead of focusing on gameplay, the core of any game, he's poured excessive time into perfecting the art and sound. This has frustrated some of his supporters, like Collector of Stuff, who insists that gameplay should take priority. <laughs> As a result, Cake's game remains a distant goal with no release date in sight. His story is a reminder that while building a game engine other offers creative freedom, it also demands relentless focus, a lesson Cake's is still learning. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Animal well guy had a full-time job, dot dot dot. Don't give a shit, bro. I don't care. We are learning here. Yep. Based. How did you even do this? What the fuck's happening? CCN? WorldGreyNews.com? Not AI article? <laughs> the author is living rent free in Cake's head. Guys, so here's what we need to do. Okay, so first and foremost, we go into the main file. Okay, main CPP. Now, we go into the um, while running loop. And then here, there you go. This is where we set the options. And how do you do, how do we do this? So if, can we even do this? I think we can. If the music volume, let's call it float new music volume, volume is, I think we need ifs here. I don't know if we can actually. Let's see. If the voice is not playing, possible voice, no pointer, stopping sounds. Option fade out. Updating voices. There we go. So we get every voice. And... Uh, is there a way to get the volume of a voice? I think there is, right? So here's what I want to do. We have music volume. Uh, currently only music volume is supported. So essentially, I think what I want to do is if voice get get i mean there's got to be a get volume function is there get volume there is okay so get volume right if the volume pointer to the volume out pointer float current Okay, what is it saying? The value type void is not uh, relatable. Ah, I see. I see. No, wait. So what we need to do is this. I, I get it now. Yeah. We need to set the pointer of the current volume to that. We get the volume. And then if the current volume is unequal to... There we have it. The music volume. Yeah. If that is different, then we need to set the voice... Shit. We can't do that. You need to support different audio times. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. 
guys uh, supporting different audio types is uh, easier than uh, we just need to get it done for one wait a minute um oh i know how to do it yeah no actually i know what to do wait a minute I have an idea. We need a platform function. Platform set or update volume. That's what we need. We have update audio. Platform update init audio, update audio. Then we have a void plat. Uh. Oh. Sorry, platform oh. update volume. And then after update audio, we have that update. Whoops. Update volume. And this is where we add this stuff in. We go over the voices. Can you guys see this? No, you can't. It's too far down. Let me put it here. So if essentially what we need to do here is um, no if check. We just do voice. Voice set volume to the volume and that would be the um, music volume uh, but only if the voice the voice options uh, voice wait voice options do not have sound option fade out or fade in so fade out together with sound wait 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 no wait if one bit is set so if i or these together so it if voices are already fading in and out then the sound or the the their volume is already being updated so if they are fading we shouldn't touch the volume but if they are not then we need to set the volume to currently the music volume and so later on we will have different types of voices that are enabled or disabled uh no that have yeah different types of voices maybe they are oops shit fuck um yeah shit what did i do Okay, sorry. I, I miss I fat fingered. We will have different types of voice voices. And a, aka a voice is basically a sound playing. I'm using X audio too, which is Yeah, anyways. Now platform.h and then in main.cpp if if float new music volume If the new music volume is unequal to the music volume or the new SFX volume is unequal to the SFX volume, then we set, well, then we do platform update volume. We need to update that and then we always set that to the new volume. There we go. Now we should have that fixed. When are you enabling song request cakes? Oh, I can, uh, I can enable that. That's fine. Add parentheses. When you check the fade in or fade out, where you check, wait, I'm not doing that? What? Uh, 
I, I am not. Oh, you mean here. You're right. Yeah, this needs to be done first. Thank you. Yeah, because I think the ant operator wins, right? The ant operator wins before the OR operator, and therefore this would always be true. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. Uh, thank you, man, Shenky. Uh, not Shenky, bite you well. What a nice person. You know, usually Azenris would do that. Is he even here? He's not here. <sighs> Mr. Azen. Shaming Azen? Yeah, my, he was nice before, bro. He, he would literally help me with this all the time. Let's see. Everyone trying to show their progress is, cool, is a cool death. Well, that's, that's true, yeah? So, um, let's see. Shut up. Nice fade in. Options. Okay, you just don't get the memo, so I'll see you in. I don't know. One day. Don't care if you don't like it. It's toxic to say that. So see you later, brother. Think about what you said. You know, you can think that for yourself, but externalizing this uh, makes someone feel bad about what they're doing. And without giving any meaningful feedback, it is just a toxic response. And we don't want that here. That's not nice. Whether that guy has 600,000 subs, 2 subs, or 200, or 2,000. It doesn't matter. Uh, that is a toxic response and not nice to do, bro. Okay. My favorite, uh, on, on my favorite collab, low level learning and low level skill lessons stream. Um, why the fuck is this not working? Should this, shouldn't this be, shouldn't this work? It does, okay. It actually updates the volume of each. I'm a fucking moron. I'm doing an end. If it's not the... Deine Nudeln weg? Ich schmeiße nie Nudeln weg. Ich schmeiße nie was weg. Was weggeschmissen? Nein, die stehen auf der Mikrowelle. Auf der Mikrowelle, auf, oben drauf, noch in. She wants your noodle. <laughs> the baby screaming. Hey. Except if they're just reactors, then fuck them. No, I don't think there's a difference between a reactor and a good reactor. There's a difference between someone just watching content and not adding anything themselves and watching the content and adding a lot of content themselves. Because, for example, in my opinion, the best reactor online is Asmon Gold. He's incredibly fun to watch. He always has interesting takes. Now, he's missing the mark oftentimes because you can't agree with everything someone else is saying. But he's making it very interesting and fun to watch with whatever he's doing. And that's really cool. And uh, there's other reactors, which I'm not going to name because I, I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. That are just not doing that. And I think... Oh, guys, I think it works. It's too loud. We need to normalize it down a little bit. XQC is way better. Guys, I might need to have to help with the baby. People uh, don't understand that if content is too technical, it doesn't attract, yeah. So you see Kut's name? Wait, guys, I need to... Wait. Ja, 
sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, we have baby for a second. Song requests. That's the most baby SFX I heard. Instantly cried with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't think she will be stay quiet though. I think she's hungry. <laughs> Should clip the crying sounds and play it when you lose a level. Content equals boring. Baby starts. Uh, your baby starts to sleep. Okay, bro. How good is SE plus plus? Out of 10, I think I would say 1 out of 10. She still needs to learn some more, you know. Let's see here. Fuck, I can't listen. Let's see. Alright, let's see if it fades out properly. Have you guys heard that? It's like Spotify. Huh? And now you have to imagine that another sound will be fading in. You know the sound for this that we don't have yet. The sound for the level. Again, Necro, I really appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much for making a sound for me. And I'll definitely get back to you on Discord. Damn, sound professional. Yeah, like I took this from Spotify. Okay, guys, we can't do much right now, so I'm gonna unpause Please. sound effects. I don't want to be like pigs. Burger? Ruining your burger? No. I will never ruin my burger. It plays even lower pitch now. Absolutely no? not. No, it should be fine. <laughs> ah, come on! This is how I start? From yesterday? It plays even lower pitch that doesn't now, count, huh? by the way. No, I did do Def Counter Plus Plus yesterday. That does not count. Yeah, you guys can we make some requests, like but this. please don't like add chill Absolutely sounds. Absolutely okay? not. Guys, add chill. Really chill sounds. Okay, guys, no like. Ah, what am I? It's gonna be terrible. Okay, fine. There it is. It's enabled. It does sound like the fade or or actually affects the pitch as well. Is that good or bad? What does a scouter say about his power level? It's bad. It's over 9,000! Ah, oh my god! What, 9,000? I haven't done it yet. Oh, I see. Wait a minute, I know why. I see why that is. Why does it take 10 days to I know search why for intro is, time? Why is the program crashing? If I search for intro time! Oh my god! It is this right here. Um, where is this? Platform update audio? A proper options yeah. menu in both in the town and in a random pitch the main menu i want to make it so that the options menu is now a drop down menu or not a drop down but like a pop-up no it's not a pop-up but it's like a fuck yeah let's wait for the clips to go away yeah it's the random pitch on the sound playback um, i need to figure out a way to only add the random pitch to sound effects which means we would need to classify them as a sound effect. And I think we can do that by adding in a sound option. Or a sound type. There's two ways to do this. Now I have my own sound interface. And every sound that I play has this stuff right here. What we could do is two things. We could have... Playing sound effects and playing background sounds. Or we could give each sound 
a type. Or we could add a sound option to turn this into a sound effect option. And then I just check that option parameter every time. I think that's the easiest one. On that note... Shit, I have a baby. I don't want my baby to be on a YouTube video. But I think I have a really cool idea for a YouTube video right now. Or at least some talking about C++ stuff that I find very interesting. I don't want the baby to be in the video though, so I need to wait for that. I like Basically what I want to talk about right now is I saw a Twitter post of Zoding talking about how bitmasks are not, uh, what is it called? Uh, they are tedious to use or not, no not tedious, he didn't use that word, it's something else. Put her in a green outfit, you can green screen her. She's a natural, she will outshine your YouTube. Sure, bro. Song Q? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old is the baby? Three weeks and four days. Three days. Nice, yeah. It's new. Freshly baked. First one? Yes, first one. Let's do a sound option. Fuck. Sound. Is he schlafen? Okay. Sound option. See guys, you know, this is what I do in the evening. Uh, when she needs to sleep, I'll put her on my chest like this. And then I will, you know, make the angle of this chair a little bit, like uh, rotate the chair or, you know, I, uh, how do you call that? I flatten the angle of the chair a little bit. And then I edit YouTube videos. I have tilt, yeah, tilt this a little bit. And then I edit YouTube videos like that. It's actually really fun. Uh, sound option SFX. Is bit four. You should get one of those baby harnesses so you can use both arms. Yeah, I should, but I think it's fine like this too. Lean, yeah. She will go to college before this game is released. Okay, bro. That's toxic. Now, play sound can add a sound option here. Mm -hmm. By default, it doesn't have any options. Now that we have this option, that's the only thing I needed to add, actually. And then in the platform layer, I only want to add this... Where is that actually? Platform update audio. There we go. This random frequency should only be done if the voice. Look, guys, I can program like this options have the sound effect sound option come on you're giving me a start but not sound option sfx okay we only want to do this in sfx There you go, guys. And now the random frequency should be gone. Control Shift B. Your sound equality operator doesn't have const correctness on the parameter. That's fine. That's fine, bro. Stop exposing her to legacy C++. It won't be there in 10 years. I don't think you're right. He's not even slow with just one arm. I guess that would be physical impossible anyway. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I am slow. I am slower, okay? You're wrong. Okay. Let's see. Can you guys tell me if it's good now? 
Is it good now? How do you hear this? I don't hear this at all. Sounds good. What engine is this? Is this your own code? Yes, this is my own code. And if you want to know how I made it, uh, you can find this here in exclamation mark engine. Whoopsie. There you go. Hello. I think I have relative pitch. It was very obvious before. Really? Good. I can detect pitch changes quite accurately here. Yeah. All right, now we gotta fix the this button right here. What I wanna do is, do we work on sound now, guys? Do we actually do this? If we have SFX, we set the frequency and the volume. I don't know if I have to do set volume first or I have to do start first and then set volume. Piss off. Set volume then this would be, uh, up here would be SFX volume actually. There you go. Now we now that's changed. And then uh, oops, actually. That is one thing and then the fade in and fade out. If it's fading out. Update voices. Yeah, if we have fade in. T set volume. This will depend on the type of volume again. So if voice, whoops, we have voice options and sound option SFX, then I want to put this thing here using the SFX volume. Otherwise, I just want to use this C++ U dog A. Paste. God, it smells with this Chinese fucking soup. Blech. Then over here we have the SFX volume. Look at this guy dual wielding a baby and... Now we can take this entire thing and coding at the same time, guys. It's like, you know what I'm doing? I have two processes. They run in sync right now. I'm threading my brain. Uh, yoink. It's multitasking right here. Uh, paste that. Think I just need to do this. Then we are done. Control Shift B for build. Let's see if this works. Does X Audio have buses? Yeah, they do. That's called a. It's not called a bus, but it's called a. I forgot the name, but yes, they do. Submix. Is it called submix? It could be a submix, yeah. So you put voices into a submix and then you... I can do this, yes. I can basically change... What I can do is create one submix for all of the... Yes, I can do that, essentially. I can change the volume of the submix and then it affects all of the volumes of, the vo of those voices, yes. Instead of using random pitch changes, I highly recommend shifting the semitones. It sounds better and more. Ah, 
Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Alter 4. Um, we need to go into UI. Where I play the sound. If I can find that play sound. Sound option S of X. Shit. Hopefully my wife's done soon, man. It's fading out, especially for desktop. Many embedded programmers should still be familiar with it for some cases though. Paradox by hand. It was a joke, but assembly is still around. What percentages of sp st programmers still write it? 0.2%. Yeah, not many write that. Yeah, that's true. Guys, it works. See? We now have sound effects or different types of sounds. Interesting. Very interesting. Then we can go here. Looking good. I'm very happy about this. That's not so good. <laughs> if Cake City is going to be cross platform, I think Cake should switch to so loud or something some other cross-platform audio library we'll see um i'm gonna try out audio on linux first and if i like it then i won't guys i'm gonna quickly quickly move the baby okay and then was soll ich da hinbringen yeah klar. i'm gonna quickly locate the uh, no relocate the baby Okay, guys, maximum skill now. Maximum power. Juice is more for visual instrument stuff. Juice? Cakes, I don't think I caught it. What are you using for an audio lib? I'm using X Audio Tool because someone in the past uh, recommended it to me. Oh, yeah, the person that recommended it to me. Uh, has been someone that has been making games in his free time for like over 10 years. His name was uh, Cuboid Bullet. And he showed me a very simple sound implementation. Before I had the direct sound and I didn't really like it. It's X-Audio 2. It's right here. And essentially, you just get a bunch of voices. The easiest one is a bunch of voices. So loud, check this cakes. Um, yeah, load wave file. So it's the own audio. It's the own. It's the own memory allocator. Set volume. Set pan. Set relative play speed. Yeah, it sounds really nice. There's also a pure C version of the whole API, which can be used for non-languages, C non-languages. Maybe. Cool, I use OpenAL, which is pretty good still, despite its age. Uh, I think... Uh, is that the first audio sound? Guys, I told you not to play this. Um, isn't it the oldest Windows sound one? Or is OpenAL like a cross-platform sound thing? 
Cross-platform 3D audio. Oh, I see. Very interesting. It's cross-platform. Is there a way to allocate your own memory using this? That's very interesting. Maybe I'll use it in the future. We'll see. For now, I use X-Audio 2. It's much lower level. Open AL is lacking callbacks when the buffer is done for playing. I see. I use Open AL too, yeah. Yeah, AQ is one uh, that knows a lot too. Hmm. Cool. Guys, we need to make the sound effect. Is this too quiet? Look at the difference. I think it's... Is this the final music? Uh, yeah, I think this will stay the final music. I really like it. See ya, Paradox. Thank you so much for joining, bro. And Ether, thank you very much for following. Or E Ether. EA Ether, thank you very much for following earlier. And Void Heat, too. It's quite nice you're able to use it. Yes, and uh, other, but I have to like go into specifics with uh, with uh, Necro. Um, right now I'm gonna use it, but if I if it gets to a point where I'm going to sell my game, we have to like lock something down for sure. Get rid of all of this. Will you be able to mute the sound of music completely? Yeah, you just go. Just like it's gone, right? Yeah, yes, so yes. I mean, you should be able to. You shadow on the houses are fucked up, these are old houses. Uh, don't take a look at them, they suck, they're bad. I think sound option of x cakes might be nice to have a mute checkbox that mutes it separately than having uh, set volume to zero and checked reverts volume to what it was when it unchecked maybe per channel that could be an idea yeah How about no? <laughs> I like this. I like the new button sound more than the old one. The only thing I don't like is that it's so quiet. So we need to make it louder. Let me save this. Actually, do we need this? Maybe. Save project. Save project S. Skeleton die sounds. Where is this? Audacity. It's in documents. I don't like this. Uh, let's put it on this computer. Oh, wow. This one is... Oh. Put it on D. Then I think it's called videos. YouTube cakes videos and then we put in a new folder um, 
audio game audio game sfx audacity or actually let's not put it here put it on this computer d where my game is i should put it to my game have a new folder audacity and just put it here there you go now we can we can keep it at 20 percent, the music was already very loud you should make the volume slider to affect the audio logarithmic logarithmic Kelly. Minus 80 decibels to zero. Um, do you have a function that is based on the volume between zero and one? If you can supply me that, then I can do it right now. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to leave it linear for now because I don't know if X Audio 2 applies the scale logarithmic, no, logarithmic, logarithmically themselves. I noticed the slider was linear too, but I don't want to distract him even further. Yeah, I'm already a lot distracted. I know, I know, I know. I do know about this, guys, uh, but first. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Keep all of that. Actually. So, effect, volume and compression. Let's do normalize to minus 5 dB. So, every single sound effect in my game should be normalized to the same peak volume, right? Maybe like that. Float volume is to the power of 10 to the decibel divided by 20F. So what does that mean? There is no value of T in there that is between 0 and 1. Yes. Okay, guys, now close. You can batch normalize everything at the end of the project to do a final loudness pass. No reason to do this during active development. I think it's a bit too loud yeah i would like to i see what you mean i will do that i would like to fix this one sound though okay like because we're gonna hear this a lot uh i will do this later yes so let's see uh effect normalize i wonder if this does anything no it does not so minus five maybe minus eight Doesn't everything take time, matter of priorities? Uh, no, you can use a program to automatically do that. You can use a command line program to do this. You don't have to open every single file for that. So you don't, like, basically it's done using one command and instant rather than slow like this. Why is this quiet? Because it's fading in? Listen to this, guys. I'm spending... I'm doing a sound effect. And then it's... Weird. Have you got a hold of my playlist again? It's a song request. Nynx. It's a song request.
This is a favorite. I thought we weren't doing this anymore. Uh, I had to disable it because it was bugged. Uh, and Abbott needed time to fix it, so I couldn't use it actually. And then I just forgot to turn it off. I uh, turn it on again. Okay, so your float volume, uh, sir. Uh, uh, I think it doesn't make a lot of sense, bro. Because my volume. Where's this? My volume is between 0 and 1. Okay, and if I take your code, the float volume, it doesn't take in anything. It takes in dB. I don't have dB. I have a float value of T, which is SFX volume which is in zero to one so like 10 divided by 20 that doesn't do anything convert the t to something between minus 80 to zero we must be kind to abeth i feel sorry for him all, all locked up in your basement he's fine he has enough food okay How's the kit? Growing strong? Yeah, growing really strong. DB is minus 80 plus 80 times T. Okay. And then the float volume is... Eh? Like this? To decibel correct T? <laughs> Actually. We're going to do this, yes. We're actually going to do this, yes, sir. Apply a volume between 0 and 1 and convert to convert it to decibel dB. Actually, Get volume. Get law log volume. Like this. Get volume in DB. No, get volume in log. Get logarithmic volume. Supply a volume between zero to convert it to DB and then. Logarithmically, logarith I don't know if that's correctly written. Convert it to zero to one again. Is that how it works? Is the volume the power here? Is this thing a value between zero and one? I can see this breaking, 100%. Maybe at DB, at DB0 it might. It's converting it to some nice curve, the gain. 
Guys. Will this return me a value between 0 and 1 or not? Damn, so effectively a custom engine. What is the engine using in this game? He's using a C++ with libraries. Yeah. Engine. It's based on this, brother. There you here. There you go. Okay, we don't listen to this. So basically what I do here is... I do this. I don't see this working, guys, but okay. Maybe it does. What do we have here? T value. Then we multiply this by T. You already needed to make this way, hit this way with cakes, so uh, read the message. Of course, this channel has grown, so be aware. Hi, cakes, are you today? How's it going? Hey, Phil, my man, good morning. No, I'm doing something new, which is difficult to do, and I'm focusing on programming rather than interacting with chat. I can, if I want to, I will never miss a message. It is a trade-off, brother, but I, I appreciate it. Yeah, yes, I will miss messages if I focus too hard. On programming, yes, it's a trade off. You're too quick, your written function is actually linear, not logarithmic. I just took the function from someone in chat who told me to use it, brother. Okay, it's the exact function that he told me to use. Okay, I didn't do anything to quick, I was just following. Try it first. Uh, but I need to do it like this. There is no other way to do it, bro. Um, I can only do it like this. Um, so, yeah. Output the value somewhere. Are you seeing the value on DB in the menu now? Just try it with the music first. We'll try it now. I think we have everything we need. Should be working. Guys, I can always return the volume linearly. Okay, we now just have a function on how to get the volume. We can always return it linearly. That's so shit, man. That's so shit. Even if it is correct, it's shit. Yeah, it seems like it's... It seems like it is working, but it's shit because the changes here are not noticeable. Make the volume range smaller. So what you mean here is go to this thing. And then uh, call that a const float. Const expression doesn't really matter. Float db range. And uh, let's turn that. It was 80 before. Let's do 40. Like this. Why is it so bad? Do you really need to ask? Okay. Still shit. So fucking bad, man. The 
the fuck is this? It's shit, man. I think linear is just better. I don't know why people say that you shouldn't have it linear. What is the issue about linear? Why is linear bad? Huh? What is the... What's the problem here? Huh? Wait a minute, it doesn't change anything. Ah, the code is not updated in the engine. Shit. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the code wasn't updated in the engine. So I have to rebuild this every time for it to update. You never had logarithmic yet? Yeah, but I liked it before, actually. So you think that's better? That's good. Okay, fine. It's perceptual. Put it at a hundred, is it too loud? I think it's fine, actually. We did some good stuff today. Well, we didn't work on gameplay, but I think we we leveled up the game with these sound effects. When it might be wrong, it, it is Chad's fault. When something works, it's Cakes climbing the enlightenment to enlightenment. Um, my gets up. Thank you very much uh, for helping with this. I really appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Oh man. Gotcha, bitch. Death Sorcerer, thank you so much for following, bro. Hello there. <laughs> good day, time to. Uh -huh. Hi, good day, time to play Path of Exile. Yeah, actually. Oh. Fine. I do not want to have a zero day on gameplay. Let's do a gameplay change that is interesting. I don't have any audio panning with my X-Audio 2 anymore. Anyone got an idea? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you use uh, these submixes? Level 10 Archer? What about sorting bitfield now? That's always gone. Yeah, okay. So let's do that. So I saw something the other day that was very interesting. And uh, that is really in relation to bit masks as booleans, essentially. So what I have here in my sound system is an option to fade in and out sounds, to start, loop, and tell the engine that we have a sound effect, which would use a different volume for the sound. And I saw an interesting post about why that would not be a good idea, or why that is... I don't want to use the wrong word, so let's find it x.com sorting right it's this guy there we go big developer very smart person and the website doesn't load yeah and he was talking about bit fields if i can find the post though c3 
They made a sequel to see six minutes ago. Bro, it's over for Zeke and Odin for this time. For sure this time. Uh, extensions don't even... Uh, man, he's typing a lot. Uh, sorting is the opposite of soy dev. Um, where the fuck are... Bit masks. There we go. Web devs cover Wait, web devs discovering bit masks. This is where I think we're getting close here. Am I blind? Where the fuck is it? Text editors, contraction, I think. It wasn't here yet, right? Control F. Webdev crying about bit masks. Syndrome lately. Very esoteric. Uh, Webdevs. Very esoteric. Webdevs discovering bit masks. Holy shit. Bit masks, bit masks, bit masks, bit masks, bit masks. I don't see it. Fuck, did they delete it? Did he delete the post? It's not, wasn't that long ago. <laughs> hey, cakes. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah. Let's move on. Nothing to see here. I think he... I think he deleted the post, unfortunately. I wanted to hear his take on Bitmasks, but I can't find it. Let's just scroll down. Damn, Mr. Amida's gifted sub expired. Hope he's okay in the army. I yeah, hope he's okay too. I wish him all the best. And I told him not to die. And be careful of the sun. Bit mask. Eh? Hey, it can't even find the bit masks that are up here. What the fuck is this? Twitter is so badly programmed. <sighs> bit masks are good. Yeah, my his take was that they are man, bit mask. Let's see. Web devs discovering. Discovering. Here are my updated posts of an appreciation post. Maybe here. Here are my updated thoughts on bit masks. Web Maybe he changed this. Actually, I think he changed this. He changed. Uh, can you see how it's edited? Uh, guys, how do you see the edit history? Is there a way to see the edit history? I think maybe it was this. I see it. Isn't there a way to see the edit history somewhere? Look closer. Twitter doesn't rank the site enough despite me responding to it, so I'm adding to the threat to increase visibility collector of stuff is trolling again yeah he is if it's not edited there's no history i don't know i mean i, I don't use twitter guys x.com doctor disrespect statement let's find that did he like do that statement like i don't know like i know that this statement was edited um uh, um Hidden replies. I don't see an edit history here. Is there like a way to see? I know this was edited two times. I don't see an edit history. Is there like an extension? Last edited. Left. Ah, so you can click on this and you can't click on this. Interesting. So he never... I don't know. Then I can't find it. It's fine. 
if I can't find it, unfortunately, I would have loved to know what he says about this stuff, but yeah. Stealing content from a guy who called you out for stealing content before. Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> It's fine. I'm a little bit sad about it actually because I really wanted to know why this is tedious or annoying to use, but fine. Fine. Maybe just link the article for everyone. No, I remember sitting on the toilet, browsing Twitter, and then reading. Uh, bit masks are just a more tedious way of managing bits or managing booleans or something like that and i was like damn that's a cool idea and then i never saved the post because i don't use twitter i was like okay i'm gonna google that and find the post on stream that's actually something i said no with the colon stuff <sighs> whatever it is how it is anyways mm. I want to work on gameplay before we stop here and do, you know, do some react. It's super hard to find posts on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, there's many posts. What I want to do is work on... Let's just play the game. Oh. Um. Attack. Play sound. Sound option. SFX. Maybe we should go through all of the sounds. And add the sound option SFX. To all of them. Sound option upgrade. Sound option SFX upgrade sound option SFX yeah sound option SFX coin pickup sound option SFX and let's yoink this ice trap explosion that's an SFX explosion SFX, placing units, coins, level up, Tangi home, upgrade. Okay, I think we have successfully changed all of the sounds now. Hey, Cakes, congrats on becoming a father. Nachträglich. Hey, HPix, long time no see. Thank you very much, man. If this, if it's this, the summary seems to me maybe they aren't as bad as I thought. I mean, how about this? Um, we'll do... I'll keep this open. And then tomorrow we're just gonna read this. Hello, father. Oh, hello there, my man. My groin, please. <laughs> Hold in my groin, please. <laughs> Damn! What a name, brother! What a name, sir! Has anyone called him daddy yet? I think yes. You realized you can check multiple values at once. It's better packed and more stuff related. Ah, uh, don't spoil it! I was actually gonna. I was actually interested in the. Yeah, thank you though. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Let's play this. That means we have to restart. Damn, guys. I think my game just got 10 times better. I think it just got 10 times better. Really good sound effects. Okay. 
Wait. I think these sounds should be better. And I think... This should also make a sound here. To be fair, what's... That's what you should have just gotten from scrolling over the article. You looked at it as long as me. Yeah, but I didn't read. I just looked at pictures. See you later next time, statics. I hate shield up, it's dumb. I hate shield up, it's dumb. Why do you wait why? Okay, so this is the game. We are working on gameplay right now. Nothing particularly interesting happened this round though. Is it bad if nothing happened this round? The round was easy. We beat all of the enemies. Next round. For a melee character, it's nice. think this should make a sound effect let's see uh, display upgrades I think it's called do choice right draw heading do choice for level one you want it to be easy maybe you can increase the difficulty later with modifiers or challenges I suppose you're all right but I think it's too easy still Null pointer. This return do button. Let's see. Do choice. Description. If we can upgrade. Wait a minute. Button icon. Comma null pointer. This is basically the button sound after this, yeah, button sound. Hmm. This is essentially why this doesn't work. Why it doesn't give me the sound. Maybe I need to supply the button sound. We learned with DRG Survivor, it's never easy enough. It's fine, it scales up harshly, but making the first level even slightly above what the average gamer can handle can hurt sales. I fixed my audio, but it was just a matrix. It was set up incorrectly. A matrix? Crazy. Is it because you have 3D sound? Hmm. Button sound. Hey, level one, you want to learn the player to play the game, not to beat them over there. Yeah, true, true. I guess you're right. But I do want enemies to come closer to the exit rather than being spawn camped, you know? I don't want them to be spawn camped, bruh. Mm, fine. 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 Hmm. <clears throat> Button sound. Yeah, the player needs to be able to make a load of dumb mistakes on level 1 and still beat it. Yeah, I guess you're right. But then again, making the game more difficult in an update received. 
It's worse than making it easier. Yeah, that's also true. You're right. Place the secondary hero on the other place and then look. Yeah, true. Agreed. I also feel the first level, especially if it's used as a tutorial, should be borderline impossible to fail. So level one equips make it easier than you think is necessary. I guess. Oh, I guess, guys. It's fine then. Okay. Shit. Fine. Fine. <sighs> Now we just need to somehow fix this button sound here. The issue with the button sound. So, why does this happen? Why does this happen? Because I can click these as buttons. That's why. And so they don't have a sound. They don't ever have a sound. But I want to give them a sound. Hmm. And this is the null pointer for the sound. Maybe I'm just supplying the button sound. Like this. There we go. Why do some people have weird square red glasses? They're weird mixing. mixing. Why do some people have weird... Square red glasses. Oh, these are not glasses. These are eyes. Big return player. These are eyes, bro. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Weapon upgrades. Ability upgrades. Do choice. So, we, if we have a question mark, we supply null pointer. If not, we supply the normal button sound. Actually... Yeah, fine. I'm just gonna hard code it here. Or I'm supplying it here. Yeah, I'm just supplying the button sound here. Here we go. And then... For some stuff, where I don't want it to be supplied, I just supply a null pointer. For example, for question marks. Draw weapon upgrades. Question mark. And then equipment upgrades. We supply the null pointer there too. Let's see. Yeah, let's put null pointer there. And we put null pointer on a new line. I think a new line is better. There you go. Now I should get a I should get feedback when I click these buttons. Yeah. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. I did the same. Because you try the first level a million times, you feel that's too easy. Added, mo added more and mo more and bigger waves. And the moment I 
don't do the usual and suddenly it can go very wrong okay fine let's not do the usual close the game start the game we play it again i want to do at least one gameplay change today we added in sound effects today that was nice let's do gameplay <clears throat> Your verdict on the plastic bottle cup uh, cap puncturing your face, you get used to it actually. Ooh. I think this, by the way, the skill tree should have a different sound effect because it's cooler to skill, spend a skill point on the skill tree. So it should be like more impactful, maybe with like some nice little like double layered sound effect or triple layered sound effect like something like more more than just a tick but for now we just keep it as a tick oh i see shit for abilities i don't want the tick to be there actually open skill tree I see. Fuck. Yeah, okay. And we don't want... I want to put a null pointer here because we already have that upgrade sound effect. And so over here we want to put a null pointer too. Okay, it's fine. So we don't play that sound then. Do you have a particle system in the engine? Yes, I do. Uh, if you want to know how I implemented that, that is in the uh, render interface. I think. Uh, a particle has these fields and rendering options. Uh, that is determining whether it should emit a bloom or not. Stuff like this. Uh, it has a sprite position direction basically this stuff and then i have a particle emitter that also has a position uh, and then basically i can only spawn in a radius and then how many particles are being emitted each second emit rate that's per second and how many i emit every time i emit how long it lives and the timer to count down to the or to count up to the lifetime and then some parameters to make the particles move over time that are then being passed here. <laughs> would it would be cool to show a particle explosion when you upgrade or something like that. But I do already. I do. Like this. Wait, didn't I build? I do already show like a, a nice effect. In the skill tree, I mean. Um, we'll see if I do that or not. I know what you mean, but I think it's overdone. And it's UI again. So, let's close this. Okay, guys. Gameplay. The button sound is actually good. Yeah, it is, right? Oh shit, I wanted to actually start like this. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It's it's a button. Like, you know how I figured that out, that this button sound is good? I played some other game that had this sound effect and it was wooden buttons. It's weird how different sounds make uh, to make a game. It's weird how much different sounds make to a game. Yeah, that's why I'm starting to learn this. And so I will do the same thing with sounds that I did with pixel art. We'll try to do a sound here and there every day, mostly every day to learn sound effect design. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I wonder if he can beat them on his own. He should be. Actually, he's gonna lose because... No, actually, is he? Hey, he's still winning.
Oh, he lost. Okay. So I need to place two for this here. To get the weapon. I actually need to place two. So in the tutorial, I need to face the force the player to place a second one. Interesting. The sword attack sound can still use improvements, but it's not the worst. Yeah, I think it's really good already. But yeah, you're right. It can be better. Okay, so this is the round that I don't like uh, of my game. This round right here, let's put a save point here. So what I thought I would do now that we are learning... Um... I want to keep go I want to keep going back to this round. So when I play this round, the reason why I don't like it is because there's nothing special in the level. Well, the skeletons are special. And I found the item before which can then be used to make to deal more damage to the skeletons. And right now I think 25 is a little bit too high. In terms of damage. You guys told me it's to make it easier. Hmm. You know what? I kind of want to make it di more difficult. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. It's already better than balloons. No, it's not, bro. It is not. But thanks, man. I really appreciate it. What a nice message. The campfire is transparent. No, this is a weird effect that happened after... Uh, I don't know why that effect happens, actually. It's a graphical bug, but it looks nice, yeah. It, it happens on trees, too. It's actually a really cool effect. I, I just don't know why that happens. And now we can unlock the hero here. Suppress the urge. People need the first level to learn the ropes. You can make it more difficult in every level after this. It's a feature then? Yeah, I suppose it is. <laughs> Fine, I'll suppress the urge. But I wanna do it, man. I wanna do it. I kinda wanna do it, guys. I just wanna do it. I wanna do it. I don't see. Where's that transparency? It's like an outline here. You could see it. Let's get to level 10 cakes, then you can make it difficult. Eh, I just want to make it difficult now. Maybe you should start with the last level. No, I'm, I need to like build the rounds to up, you know. So, okay, fine. I don't like round 5 then. Let's save. So round 4 is fine. Okay. Round 4 is fine. We introduce an armored enemy. We introduce a counter to the armored enemy, which is a higher physical weapon. I deal more damage and therefore the enemy takes more damage because I have a higher base value of attack. Fine. I don't like round 5. Let's see. How about this? Wait. I just had a cool idea. I had a really cool idea. Text.h. Um, wait. Um, fireball. Uh, no, wait. Um, mage. Specializes in healing. Specializes in ranged combat using magic. Using fire spells. Or using magic damage like fire ball. Just make a cool level if it end ends up being level 1 to 10, who cares? You almost never design levels in the order they are played because after designing a bunch of them, you'll figure out where the floor is and go back and redesign the first few levels. 
Round 5, in my opinion, should be a good clearable, but not easy that you kind of uh, exit it to get the mage after the round. Yeah, you want to get the mage out. For sure. Mm. Uh. I want this to change. I want this description to include magic damage, guys. How do I make this description include magic damage? How do I do that, guys? Specializes in ranged combat using fire spells. I want to say magic. Basically, what I want this to include here. Okay, I want I want something like this. I want something like I want to add shit. Sorry, I want to add something like this. Okay, listen. This right here. Magic damage which is very effective which ignores armor. This is really important to me. This part. Because I'm introducing an armored enemy, I give the player a solution to the armored enemy, which is this weapon right here, the wooden sword, which does more physical damage. Therefore, we deal damage to armored enemies rather than uh, being completely helpless against them. After that round, I give the player access to the mage. And the mage is supposed to be the one that deals... Magic damage. Deals magic damage, ignoring armor at the end. In ranged combat with magic while using... Using brain, catch brain executable not found. <laughs> okay, bro. Deals magic damage. I mean, I could do this, but I feel like it, this is cheap. That deal magic damage, which ignores armor. And then we put magic damage to blue. Whoops, sorry about that. Specializes in ranged combat using fire spells that deal magic damage which ignore armor. Which ignores armor. What do you think about this? Or deals magic damage, comma, ignoring armor. Ignoring, I think that's better. Comma is always nice to have. Ranged magic damage, melee physical damage. Like guys, we are staggering we are staggering the solutions right now. There's many solutions to the same problem. We also have armor penetration. Stuff like that. Comma is always nice to have. Yeah, because it makes it seem like you're smarter using the language. What are you talking gotcha, about? Bitch. Every time I write a comma in a German sentence, I feel smart. Okay? That's just how it is. Okay? A wonder way. Thank you very much for following. A bit redundant. Fire is not physical though. The part that it, that it ignores armor is a hint to the player explaining uh, how to beat certain mechanics in the game. It's really important. And the reason why that has to be done is because already a very long time ago, Kingdom Rush did it too. And if we want to be on par or better than Kingdom Rush, then we need to give the player the hint when it's needed. Okay, guys? We need to do this. It is important. It's vital. Okay? Really important. You want to sound smart? That's why you type in armor. Like, listen, guys. Uh, I will go over armor and armor later. Okay? So, essentially, well, because I have... Yeah. Here. There we go. Tutorial. See this? Skeletons have armor that reduce physical damage. Bro, use magic damage. And that's in blue. 
Now over here, specializes in ranged combat using spells that deal magic damage, ignoring armor. So basically that's the solution to the problem. This is the problem. This is the solution. Now the thing is, I feel like armor, I feel like physical damage should be worse than armor penetration. So I, I'll probably have to revisit this calculation. No, it's English, English. So it should be not armor, but armor. Uh. Hey. Hey, stop. Bye. All right. I think we have, we have the solution here. I think this is good. Yeah. Powerful, can you not just say powerful against armor? No, because it is actually ignoring armor. It actually ignores armor. Ignoring armor sounds weird, but that's normal. Because it, it ignores armor. Armor doesn't, uh, well, yeah. That's dumb thing to type. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. I think you're totally wrong. I don't know why, why, what you're talking about. You're totally wrong, bro. Like, I, I just, just don't know what this guy is talking about. Like, shut up. Like, like no. Yeah, do you have different impact sound effects when you attack? And deal no damage to little damage because the enemy has armor. I think it's super important. Yes, you will. There will be. It will be a tink sound. I actually have this tink sound still, but it's, it's bad. It's one of my first sounds. Here, metal tink. Uh, where is it? It should be here still. I'll find it. Shit, where is it? Gotcha, bitch. Where the fuck is it? Ah, there we go. Listen to this. This is what I had before. No. Give me a second. This is it. It's, te it's terrible. Uh, guys, I know it's terrible. I know it's bad. D you don't have to say that. It's bad. But uh, this is what I want to play. Like something like this. Like ding. Sounds like balloons. Nah, it sounds bad. It's cheap. It's one of my very first sound effects I ever made. It really is bad. Um, yeah. Sounds really cool and professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't he deal ice damage too? Yeah, of course. Um, but I'm stating here that they that he's using fire spells that deal magic damage. Now I'm basically explaining that this guy is a magic user and he's specializing in fire. Because I also have the distinction between fire, ice, lighting and physical damage. Okay. So it is magic damage that ignores armor or magic damage ignores armor. But magic damage can also have defenses or can also be defended against using magic resistance. Okay, that is something that I will teach later. Right now we are purely talking about armor and magic. That's the first tutorial or the first mechanic in the game that we teach. Okay. All right. So yes, this thing will make a tink sound in the future when I hit with a physical attack and the enemy is very resistant against physical attacks. Yes, but I need a better sound. This is something we do later. Mm -hmm. Instead of comma, which ignores armor? You mean I should say which ignores... Oh, very nice song, brother. You, I should do this, which ignores armor. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Yep, that's a good thing. All right. Did you make the sound with a wine glass? No, I made the sound with... I had some metal 
thing on my hand and then I put in... I don't remember, but I was I just hit two things together. Do we already know how armor looks uh, like that at like at that stage in the game? Uh, these guys don't have very high armor, but uh, I'll show you. Um, hopefully this guy. Um, uh, yeah, wait, I need to cheat. Need to cheat a little bit. Okay. So I don't lose. Alright. Is this guy level up yet? No. He needs to level up. The upgrade arrow, arrows hide the ability icon. You mean these? No, this is another problem I have. So, I'll explain the problem to you. That's another issue I have. The upgrade is here. The, uh, the, yeah, and the same for weapons. Like, I don't have a visual indication of what type of upgrades I already have compared to the upgrades I can still get. So, if we take a look at, like, Bloons does this really well, unfortunately. Like always, Bloons does it better. So, Bloons... TD6 upgrades. So in balloons, there we go. No, actually not this. Uh, fuck, man. Come on. There you go. So balloons shows shows this. Oh, what a shitty image, man. Come on. Give me a better one. Really? You're you're not fine. I mean it's a different whatever in a new tab. Here. So essentially Bloons does this very well. It shows the current upgrade that you that you have, it shows what you can upgrade, and it shows how many upgrades out of five you have. I don't have this here. I don't know that I already leveled up a weapon. I don't have the weapon yet. And it doesn't show me the current weapon. So I might have to... Update this UI. UI... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. This needs to change, yeah. Really bad user experience. It, it confuses me. I know. It was confusing the moment I started playing my game. I know it's confusing. We have to change it in the future. But for now, we will work on gameplay. Okay? And so I think the gameplay change we made today was... Nothing, actually. So not a priority. No, there's no priority. Not yet. Fireball is too OP, guys. Fireball is too OP. Doesn't have an impact and looks bad. Should we do this? Fuck, man. I need to do a react too. Oh, no. Would be nice if the hit values have different colors. So if the color damage type, it's good to neutral or bad on target. You mean the damage numbers? So like what I have with different damage numbers is uh, blue for ice. Red for fire, grayish for physical damage, uh, blueish for lighting damage, and then I also have a true damage portion, which I will most likely. I think it will be yellow. And maybe I will make the font bigger on crits, but I don't have crits yet, so there won't be any crits. Have you found a solution for financing the family and continuing the game? Uh, yes, and that starts in 15 minutes. 